You know, HR is without question one of the number one and number two most important functions in a company. I happen to believe it's number one. Many others think finance is the key to success in a company. HR is the driving force behind what makes a winning team. We make the argument that the team that feels the best players wins. HR is involved in making sure we feel the best players. That's their job. And their job is to sit in every meeting, be involved in every part of the business equation. They're not the health and happiness, picnics, benefits team. They're the development team, developing today's and tomorrow's leaders. And if you have an organization where HR is relegated to forms and benefits, you got the wrong game going. I like to use one analogy. If you were running a sports team, whether it be the New York Yankees, the Boston Red Sox, would you like to hang out with the head of player personnel or the team accountant? Who would help you build the best team to field? Not the team accounting. Same thing's true in business. You get yourself a great HR person, preferably one with multi-skills in, in manufacturing perhaps before, or in sales, who happens to be a people person, who understands that the role of the HR leader is to be both pastor and parent. Pastor in keeping secrets and parent in telling it straight. You get that person who loves to see people grow and you've got yourself a winner.